All right, shalom, shalom, boys. Here we're at the mall picking up some cotton candy with my daughter. You see, and, and we just had a beautiful, blessed day. Uh, taking care of some business, dealing with some clients, doing some shoe shopping. But what I wanted to talk about was something that is critical. And, I, you know, I'm going to continue to talk about this because it's so important, especially in the hour that we're living in. Because the Messiah said, be ye not deceived. You know, it, it talks about this deception that was going to take place over and over and over and over again. Because, see, if you like discernment, if you are a person that just cannot understand what's going on in the hour that we're living in, I forgot where I parked. Man, you are going to be subject to deception. And deception is a nasty business because, you know, the scriptures talk about deceiving and being deceived. Uh, and this is what we pretty much got going on today. You got to understand something. Someone that is deceived is being deceived. Someone that is being deceived is a, a, a deceiving person. Uh, you got to understand this. And you know what the chief spirit that can block your level of discernment pride pride and let me tell you now uh if you're puffed up and filled up with pride you're gonna lack the ability to discern you know i you know i, I you know i say over and over again everybody can discern good i mean everybody can discern evil today but no one could discern good and uh this is the problem that we're having today uh if you are filled with pride uh, and, and you're arrogant and you're haughty, uh, you're not going to be able to discern good from evil. You're not going to be able to discern these things. And so, therefore, you're going to open yourself to a level of deception uh, that is unlike anything that you've ever seen before. And let me tell you, you know, you know, you know, warn and always come before destruction. People need to understand what's going on. You got it, sweetie? Yeah. You got it? Yeah. Okay. But we're going back home. We're going back home. Yes, we are. After a long day's worth of work. Thank you so much, sweetie. Uh, but you need to understand that pride is some nasty business. Deception is some nasty business. Uh, these are uh, demonic spirits. These are principalities. And you need to understand how these things operate in the spirit. It says no, more, no man after the flesh, but after the spirit. And if you can't look at people and understand people from a spiritual lens and know what motivates per people, then you're going to be deceived. Uh, you're going to be flat out deceived. Uh, and this is where, again, the spirit of discernment comes from, because I've said it over. I'm going to keep on saying it. First and foremost, you have to discern yourself. You have to be able to look inward to see where you're lacking, uh, to see where you need to be recharged and refilled and, and, and asking the Holy Spirit, uh, grieving not the Holy Spirit, but asking the Holy Spirit to be recharged with the Holy Spirit, because I'm telling you, man, uh, The lack of discernment, deception, and pride will literally, literally put you, your wife, and your family in harm's way. I am trying to stimulate thought as best as I can. It is so important to pray for and have a spirit of discernment about yourself. I know I got it. I definitely know that the Most High Yah has gifted me with the spirit of discernment. You know how I know? Because I see things uh, 
And you see, this is not an issue of prophecy, even though it can go into that. This is the issue of saying, okay, this is where this shit is going. This is what you see, and this is where it's going to go, provided that these spirits is not dealt with. This is why spiritual warfare is so important and understanding uh, uh, how these spirits operate. Um, what are the, uh, uh, how they run together. Uh, so important to understand in the hour that we're living in. Let me tell you, man, uh, the spirit of discernment, because see, this is what is going to save the very elect from being deceived. Uh, and I'm telling you, man, uh, deception is running rampant in this day and age. And if we don't get it and we don't understand it and able to process it, move accordingly, I'm telling you, you're going to be uh, entrapped in the snares of the devil and the snares of Satan. Um, because folks running around and they don't think that they're susceptible to it. But when they're caught all up in it, man, I tell you, man, it's just a sad thing to see. But uh, the spirit of discernment, uh, pray for it. Desire it. That it lifts you up and fills you uh, so that your soul may be saved from all manner of deception, lies, treachery, betrayal. Getting it?